is Mickey Adams in Wills Point, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Uh, those of you that know me are aware that I'm a dealer and a representative for Mullen Pedal Steel Guitars out of Seabrook, Colorado, and I'm playing a brand new G2 for this video. Uh, that's a milestone, and I have uh, new G2 number 371, who I've nicknamed Pearl. You'll see why in just a minute. Um, also, the other milestone is this. Uh, this is the first C6 video uh, that I've posted on my channel uh, with the help of my good friend Buck Reed, who has helped me immensely over the last couple of years. I'm making progress with my C6 neck, and I also want to post uh, the song Nightlife uh, in remembrance of somebody who touched us all musically, and that is, of course, Buddy Emmons. So, without any further ado, let's look at Nightlife in the key of D for the C6. Say hello to Pearl, ain't she a beauty? Drum wrap blue and a white pearl on the top, 705s, eight pedals, nine levers, and just a bombshell. Okay, here's our first group of four chords. Okay, let's begin at fret number six, or should I say position number six, <laughs> string number three. We're going to walk up in a chromatic uh, walk up to position number nine in our first D major six. Now the root is on string number nine, okay, in this chord. Now if you can raise string fret this is our F major 9 now it's F because even though we're at the C position of course the bass note is F here on the bottom so this C6 actually becomes F major 9 now from here we're going to drop back to 10 let's place our foot over our sixth pedal We're going to strike five, four, engage the sixth pedal, use ten as a root, and then we're going to use pedals six and seven, but use string nine as a root. And this is just pedal seven coming up. Pedal six is down. Okay, so... three and one up to pedal A, pedal six at 12. Now to 10, lower string three and I'm raking from seven and I'm winding up at three and four and into pedal six and seven. Again, string nine root. That's the pedal coming up again. And if we back up to position. 
position number nine, there's our D major. So there's our root. We're back to number one. Okay. Now let's look at the solo. slide into a D major using strings 3, 5, and, and 9. This is strings 2, 3, and 5 sliding from fret 1 to fret 2. Again, no pedals. Until here, we're going to use pedal number 5. Everything's still ringing. We're going to step on 5 and use the same group sliding back from position number 11 to 12. Now, let's move over to pedal number 8, depress pedal 8, at position 4, strike string 9. Now 3 and 5, slide up to 5, strike 2. Sounds like this. The next move is at position number seven with pedal number six. Engage pedal six, strings one, two, and four. Slide from position number six to seven. Now, Pick up your foot and come back a half step and strike strings two, three, and five. So we have a counterpoint move going here. Now to position number seven. This is a rake again. Uh, we have three, four, five, six, and seven. This is strings five and six, and this is pedal six. In this move, we're actually playing a D minor. We don't have a major third or a minor third in there, so it's actually neither major or minor, but roots and fifths. Drop down, so this is strings uh, uh, four, six, and 10. Drop down a half step and raise four. Drop down another half step, use pedal seven. And then move up the string group to, at the top, we're going to have three and five, and ten on the bottom. And then let's boo open. That brings us back to the one, does it not? Okay. And let's go over this one one more time. Six, 
arms in, back up a half step with five and six. Raise four, pedal seven, change string groups three, five, ten. Strike ten, boo -wah down, and three, five, and seven. Listen to the whole thing. Adams in Wills Point, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel, and I'll see you right back here with your pedal steel guitar. So long.